beautiful. Obviously, Scott and I are not happy with where we are right now. We think the team's not performing to the level that we anticipated or we expected it to perform at, and it's something that we think we collectively have to do a better job of delivering the, the product on the floor that we said we would do at the start of this season. Welcome back to Ball Hawks, the show for those who simply can't get enough of basketball. I'm Sam. We got Z on the show. Z, welcome back, bro. Good to have you. Always a pleasure, Sam. So, you know, we got to get, you got to get to my Knicks. And Knicks. I really don't want to talk about the Knicks. You know, I'm a, I'm a suffering Knicks fan, and it's really bad. I don't even, I don't even want to talk about it, it is man. Bad. It's and really bad. obviously, Scott Perry, GM, and President of Basketball Operations, um, Steve Mills, had an improper press conference saying that they weren't happy with the Knicks' effort. This mean he had a lack of effort. Z, is it time? Is it is it time for Coach Fisdo to go bye bye? Um, if you're asking me, I yes. Why? Um, a few reasons. Look at the Knicks in the past few seasons; <clears throat> they've experienced little to no success. I guess no success is probably the right word. Um, but not only that, I mean he's too ISO heavy. Every guy is, has the ball in their hands for like ten plus seconds. They're not moving the ball. They're not spacing. God, they got lucky against Dallas last night. Honestly, dude, they have no spacing. That 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 was very terrible. But um, no, I mean, what do you think? Is that was a good coach? I mean, he definitely relates to the players. You know, I feel like the players like him. He likes the players. He's he's good with Tony. So you know what? They're just not getting. Wins. You know what? You're paying this three and out record on David Fisdale? Um, yes. Z, you know I love you, bro, but you're going to pin this on David Fisdale. People like you, fans like you, and GM, you know, Scott Perry, President of Basketball Options, of Basketball Operations, Steve Mills, you guys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. The New York Knicks, they never fail. They agonize me. They never fail. Because you know why? I knew they were going to have a bad record. I knew they were going to be a bomb dweller, like they always are. But the fact that they never fail at this point, by turning this all on David Fisdale, because... GM Scott Perry and Steve Mills couldn't get Kevin Durant and they couldn't sign Kyrie Irving. Yeah. You know, last season they traded franchise cornerstone Chris Stapps Porzingis. They traded Miss, they say, oh, they promised the expense. We're going to get a big time free agent. Who did they sign? Taj Gibson? Taj Gibson, Julius Randle, yeah, Bobby Portis. Those are huge free agents. You still, you traded our franchise cornerstone, our beloved Chris Stapps Porzingis, our unicorn, away for Taj Gibson. Not to mention, you, you, you couldn't even get D'Angelo Russell from Brooklyn after they stole Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving from us. So now we get in this roster, this lackluster roster, the Knicks have no one on this roster. And you have the guts to have an improper press conference say you're not happy with the direction of the New York Knicks? What do you expect? You, you expect them to go undefeated, 10-0, with Taj Gibson? <laughs> It's a little concerning. It's a little concerning. It's very concerning. There is no way in hell that Steve Mills and Scott Perry did that on their own free will. They had to get James Dolan. James Dolan had to be the one to get them to do that because there is no way. They've been in the league for too long. I refuse to believe that they would hold an improv press conference like that to bad mouth their team like that. It's disgusting. It was despicable. It's disgusting. I cannot believe my eyes when I saw that notification. What's up with this, this David Fisdale and his like, spacing of the players? Why, why is Dennis Smith Jr. not taking them out of the threes that he should be? What do you mean, Dennis Smith Jr. not taking the threes? He's not taking any shots. He's, I mean, he's only been back for two games. Who do they have? They, they don't have anyone, see? They shouldn't be a good team. They should not be a great team. Why, why does Steve Mills, why is he trying to tell, he's trying to pitch James Dolan that this team should be a competitive team in the East? Are you kidding me? I don't think anyone's saying that. I, I think what he. I, I would not. I think the main thing why I'm really upset is just because of the fact that the New York Knicks have had several head coaches. They fail to have a coach in there that can actually last. In the past six years, they've had so many head coaches. They had Jeff Hornacek. They have Derek Fisher. They have Kurt, Kurt Rambis, which thank God he's gone. That's the coach. He was terrible. He was disastrous. 
And they just need to, you know, believe in a coach. Keep a coach and maintain the coach. It's the lack of continuity that is played in the New York Knicks. And it is just terrible. It is terrible to be a fan. I cannot express how much I suffer as a Knicks fan. I wake up in the morning and I'm a Knicks fan. And I can't believe you got to this point. You go, this is, this is bad. This is it's very bad. I'm not putting the full thing on Fizdo. Fizdo, he seems like a cool guy. Um, but there's there's some there's some talent on your roster. Obviously, it's not a competitive team, but there's some talent there. Let's not completely forget about some of those key guys: like Julius Randle, uh, Dennis Smith Jr. Um, Nidikina is coming back stronger and better. Then you got guys, you got vets and Taj Gibson who can lead the way. You know, like in terms of veteran leadership on and off the court things that these players. You know, should be doing. They don't. They don't. They're not a terrible team, but obviously they're not going to compete with they're us. They're not a good team. Not gonna compete you should not be guys. surprised. You should not be surprised. I mean, I'm not I'm surprised. Not surprised by the nine record. I, I think that's pretty I'm surprised good. Surprised they have three. Wins. And they defeated yeah. Dallas twice. Kudos to that. That's like the one thing I'm really happy about. And while I said earlier they shouldn't fail, they shouldn't fire Fizdale. I'm mean, having second doubts. Did you see the notification? They did Fizdale said to the reporters that oh, so they do ice ball. No one's complaining about them. Why are people complaining about us? Come on, David Fisdale. I mean, oh, man. maybe we should fire him after that. I don't know, man. It's it's very depressing to be honest. Yeah, James Harden on your team, Fisdale. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Kind of player right there. It's very upsetting. Anyways.